But yeah, this man, he, he, he someone right, I can just tell someone right with him. So, you know, he just kept standing there and the, the dude came, oh, my doctor, with his fine self, he came, he opened the door and he was like, I'm sorry. He said, I couldn't hear the doorbell. He said that it, he said it was making like a faint noise. It wasn't really ringing like it normally do. I was like, it's okay. Y'all, let me tell y'all, my doctor, y'all see him last time I went to the brace doctor. Y'all saw him, oh honey, he look good. He look nice, honey. He had them, <laughs> them nice bluish green eyes and his hair, I could tell he put some, he used something new on his hair. It looked real nice. It was, it was all swooped over, you know, to the side. And it was all shiny and just looking nice and thick. Oh, I love a man with some thick hair. So, you know, I wasn't tripping. So, you know, I just proceeded to walk in the building towards my doctor. And, um, you know, old dude, the, the driver, you know, he was like, uh, he was like, how long is it going to take you? I said, not that long. I said, probably about an hour. He said, okay, I'm going to come back in an hour. I said, okay. So he left. So me and the doctor, the doctor was like, how you doing? I was like, I'm doing better now. He was like, you're looking good. I was like, thank you. Yeah, I was up here grinning and cheesing and blushing at this dude. And he can't even see it past my mask. He had a mask on too, but he still looked good with that mask on. But anyway, so he was like, just follow me and I'll take you to the back. So I was following him and everything. And then uh, the secretary, she was like, uh, I'll take her to the back. I was like, because oh. <laughs> I wanted the doctor to take me to the back. And uh, he was like, it's okay, I got it. And I was like, yes. That's how I did to myself, in my head, that's how I did. I ain't do it in real life, but you know, so the doctor, he took me to the bed, and you know, we were just talking, and you know, he was like, how is, how is everything going, and you know, y'all, yeah, ooh, my allergies making my eye itch. But anyways, he was like, how is everything going, and I was like, everything's all right, and I was like, how are things with you, and no, we were just talking, catching up. He was like, I ain't seen you in six months. I said, has it been six months? He was like, yeah, it's been six months. I said, man, it feel like forever. He was like, oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. He was like, well, I missed you. I said, did you? He was like, yeah. And, I, yeah, I was trying to play it cool because I don't want to, you know, because my brother told me that I be flirting with people and he said that's how I be getting stalkers so I be trying to just stay calm and everything and not get too excited when I talk to people but this doctor is fine though but I'm trying to you know play it cool because I don't want to look like I'm flirting with him like my brother said I be flirting with everybody whatever so anywho you know the doctor he told me sit down get comfortable and he asked me how did my leg feel. I told him, I said, it feel okay, it's all right. And then he said, well, I'm gonna take off your, your shoes and look at your legs and your feet and see if you have any bruising. I was like, okay. So he took off my shoe. And y'all, I'm real sensitive about my feet. I really don't like people touching my feet, but see when he do it, it's okay. So he took my foot and he took my sock off. I was like, oh, please don't let my feet stink. And then his his hands, you know, they, they grabbed my, my toes and like the inner part of my foot. Y'all, oh, it felt so good. His hands, like he started massaging my foot. And he was like, tell me how that feel. Oh, it felt so good. Y'all, I love getting my, my feet massaged by somebody with some good strong sturdy hands but he was gentle with it though they 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 nice sturdy hands but they was gentle though so he massaged my feet and my legs and he said 
it looks good. I don't see any bruising or anything. I was like, okay. He said, but your brace, he said, I'm going to add some more cushion to it for you to make it more comfortable for you. He said, I'm going to cut uh, the side and trim it a little bit and give you a new uh, Velcro thing and everything. He said, I'm going to, you know, make it look brand new for you. I was like, okay. He said, I'll be right back in about 20 minutes. I was like, okay. So he walked away, and, you know, that's when I got on the phone with y'all. I let y'all see the place and everything. And then he came back with, with the brand new brace and everything. And he was like, so, he was like, so what you think? I was like, it looks nice. I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to say, you know what I'm saying? It's a brace. So he, he put the brace on, and he tied it on and everything. And he put my shoe on. He said, I want to see you walking, and you tell me how it feel. I said, okay. So I got up, and I did the walk and everything. And I walked back to him. And he said, okay, yeah. He said, it, it looked like uh, it's doing better. It looked look like it, it's making you walk better. He said, because before he put the extra cushion in there, he said, it looked like uh, my leg was about to pop. I was like, oh. He was like, yeah, and he said, I want you to be comfortable and everything. He said, that's why I added extra cushion and trimmed the sides a little bit. I was like, okay. And then uh, he said, so how does it feel to you? I said, it feels good. And he's like, so you like the cushion? I was like, yes. He said, can you get up and walk for me again? I was like, yes. So I got up and I walked for him again and see. So I knew he was going to be touching me, and I knew he was going to be real close to me. So I made sure I was real fresh and smelling real good for him and everything. So, yeah, we uh, we did a, a, a test. He made me take, like, a survey, whatever. He, he asked questions like, the same survey he did last time. Would you walk on ice? I said, like, I had to answer from zero to 100. I said zero because I live in Texas and we don't have ice. <laughs> he was like, yeah, that's a fact. And then, you know what I'm saying? He just asked me different questions. Would I stand up in the chair and reach for something? I said zero because I definitely would not do that. And, you know, it's just different questions he had to ask me. You know, <laughs> I answered them. Most, like I said, most of them I answered was 100. Like I would 100% do that certain things but then stuff certain stuff I would not do like stuff for me having to stand on my tippy toes or stand on a chair or something I would not do that I definitely would not be walking on no ice because I am in Texas so you know we we laughed and joked and everything then he asked me about the girls asked how they was doing and I was like they good they good he, you know I was telling him that Chi Chi just had a birthday, and I was telling him that Chunky had started school, and you know, we just making conversation, talking. And y'all know me, I can talk forever. So I was, I was trying to tell myself, stop talking, stop talking. But I kept on talking to him, and he kept talking to me, and I was like, trying to tell myself, stop talking, because my ride, you know, they was only giving me an hour. So I, was, I kept telling myself, be quiet. Stop talking. But you know that Dr. he's so good and he's so nice, so it was hard to stop talking to him. And I was like, well, I know you got to get back to work. And he was like, yeah. He said, I do. He said, but it was so good seeing you. And he said it with his hand on my knee. I, I like when they do stuff like that. Like, I like people who got positive energy. I like when they touch me, like, on my knee or my shoulder or something like that. So, you know, he give off positive energy. Plus, he cute and he smells good. And he got a nice smell. And he got nice thick hair. <coughs> Woo! I'm getting choked up. But, yeah, so, you know, he walked me to the door. And he was like, you want me to call your ride? I was like, no, nah, I'll just sit here and wait on him. He was like, okay, you can sit with me and wait. <sighs> so I sat down, and, you know, the doctor, he had to get back to work. So I just sat there and talked to his secretary. 
And um, I got tired of waiting, so I went ahead and called my ride and let him know I was ready. And he was like, okay, I'm on my way. So, you know, he he pulled up and he got out, opened the door, which I was shocked because I thought he was going to, you know, let the door open by itself, whatever. With the woo. So I got in and, you know, he was like, everything okay? I was like, yes. So then he got the music on and, you know, he took me home. Now I'm back at home. Yeah, but that doctor, woo, but that driver, ooh. <laughs> Baby, that driver, honey, the way he was driving, he had me scared. I'm so glad I had my seatbelt on because he was swerving everywhere. But anyways, that's how my day went. I miss my girls so much. I hate that my girls couldn't go with me, but I understand, you know, with everything that's going on around the world, they can't be out and about. I don't want them to get sick and all that. So, yeah, that's how my day went. Let me know how your day went. What did you do today? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.